Hi, this is Alex Paulton. I'm here at the Infineon booth at the APEC, and I'm with a very good friend of mine, Tim Moran. And, uh, well, Tim, we're talking about GAN, right? We sure are, Alex. We sure are. Well, I mean, why Bangamp Semiconductors? They've arrived. I mean, last year was pretty much the day everyone finally agreed, okay, it's here. Now we're actually seeing real products, real designs. I think it's very exciting. That's right, that's right. Now we're focusing on really manufacturing and bringing them out and handling issues like reliability with the customers. So you can see here the display we have here now covers a very wide power range and a wide number of applications. Well, let's, let's walk through some of these. Now, so you've got a couple here, so let's just talk one at a time. This is a, a 3.6 kilowatt LLC system, 380 volt to 52 volt out, which is designed for very high efficiency. I think it gets over 97%. Uh, it could even be more dense, but it's still pretty decent density that, that it has on it at 160 watts per cubic inch. And 90, I think I said 97, it's actually 98%. They've increased it by using GAN devices in the output now. So it's a latest and greatest with 98% efficiency, yet still pretty good density that we get with that device. And then this is a little lower power Power, about a thousand watts and this is phase shifted full bridge that we have here uh, and that's hitting 80 watts per cubic inch and 90 greater than 97 percent peak efficiency so hot, good, good combination of efficiency and density these are some real I mean these are some in, very very high if you told someone 10 years ago you'd be achieving these kinds of densities and efficiencies they would think you were on drugs that's right that's right <laughs> you know what have you been smoking well and that and I had to almost say it like that because this is we're so used to the incremental and incremental and we're like, wow, we're dealing with insanely high power levels right. here. Right, and, and for instance, this now is not an Infineon demo. This is a customer's power unit. This is from LTEC. It's their super high efficiency rectifier, again, telecom rectifier. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it's, it's it's designed for line in and 48 volt out, getting 97.8% efficient, efficiency AC to DC. So very high efficiency. And we've got plans to make it even smaller and not trade off on, on the uh, efficiency at all. So and what's this again, here? Uh, this is this is obviously not for density, but this is actually a show and tell box. You can see the GAN devices that we have there. This is for Class D audio. So now we're talking consumer space. We were talking data center. Mm -hmm. Now we're going over the consumer space at this end. And gallium nitride is great for Class D audio <laughs> because it has such clean switching that the total harmonic distortion is quite low. And so for high end audio where they really care about that kind of thing, GAN is really taken off. Well, you know, and and and. Let's be honest, what I would really like to see, because yes, you can get to these switching topologies, but I'm an audiophile as well. I would love to see a class A amp made for like wide band gap semiconductors. That would be something to see. Yeah, well, we actually did, as International Rectifier, three, four years ago, the very first product again was a home theater system from Samsung that featured, it actually had a vacuum tube at the front end, and then it had GAN at the back end. So you had <laughs> the best of both worlds that you have. Very cool. And then down here we get again in the consumer space. This is a 65 watt adapter. So you've got uh, USB PD capability. It has 20 watts per cubic inch. It fits into a very small form factor. This is, this is a prototype, but it's full functioning system prototype. And you can see it, it's very compact for a 65 watt type footprint. And that's with full functioning, not leaving the heat sinks off or anything else. It's got the whole thing right there. Very cool too. So, and then this one thing, uh, here, which is wireless wireless charging for, uh, again, consumer space. And in this case, this would be your table. And instead of having a phone, which just sits there, we thought we could have something which visually shows what you could do. And you could see that if this were your phone, it's powering it. As I pull it away, the LEDs on there depower. So you can kind of see an idea of where the window is in terms of distance and time when you could charge it. And of course, we have several different loads on there, different things to show that that could be several phones or your earbuds or whatever if this were, were going on. And this is with the Fuel Air standard. These devices are switching at 6.78 megahertz, so very high switching frequencies that are powering the wireless charging application. Well, you know, and Tim, I think that's something to really bring forward is that these circuits aren't just imaginary. These aren't paying. We will eventually achieve. We've achieved it. That's right, that's right. It's really rolling out into the market in a broad range of applications now. It's very gratifying to see and it's, it's odd driving, you can see this kind of performance improvement. So GAN is real and it's here at this point in time. Thanks Tim, I really appreciate you taking the time at this show. Thank you very much.